Hey guys, what's up? Neo here, and we're gonna look at Galactic Air first impressions. Um, I looked at the game real quick. Uh, it showed up on Xbox Game Pass, and it looked really good. Although I don't yet know exactly what it's about. Just that it's a uh, RTS and top down. Over here, chapter one. I'm guessing we're gonna click here. Chapter one, orientation. Your appointment, Mazarin and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Mazarin is already on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? Yep. Uh, chapter one, orientation, play, story. Oh, let's see. Looks really good though. I'm liking the interface, the audio. Very galactic, right? And having just played Starfield now earlier on, um, good familiar sight for me. Glistening before you and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth is Galactic Air's newest high orbit station and your first hospital. I am Heal, the AP assigned to all of Galactic Air's extrasolar operations. Nice. I was thinking it's going to be something similar to 2 Point Hospital. Healthcare, as we strike out amongst the Team Hospital even, and then I was thinking of 2 Point Hospital earlier. Our halls, bringing with them all sorts of awful maladies and excretions. Medibots on standby, Director. Before then, this looks pretty good, right? The starting gun, personally. I'm sure we'll be receiving a call from her any moment now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there she is. Yay. Uh, pending call. Okay. The prop to the bottom right of your user interface. Bonjour, guten tag. Ra Ryan. Ra director, and welcome to Galactic Air. It's time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Personally, I'm not one for all this nitty gritty management stuff. I'd much rather be in the lab. So that's why you're here. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. Take it away, heel. Thank you, ma'am. Nice. Erica, let's start let's with do a particularly this. fun section. Calibrating sensors and perspective. Yes. We'll be panning, rotating, and even zooming your camera. Okay. Both in and out, mind you. Thrilling stuff. Your objectives should be displayed now. If they're not, then everything is broken. And it may be simpler for you to resign. Look at us go. Spinning around like a gyro. I feel vaguely ill. Now, there was something else oh. I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. There's the hospital. Patients and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well, then. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's first place a reception desk so that we can process patients as they arrive. I've highlighted. I'm assuming this is going to be like the entrance, right? Uh, cool. Objects. Reception, and then which one? Double. I have a lot of money, I guess. So. Rotate. Empty spaces are oddly captivating. We do occasionally need to build things in order to provide the healthcare. A reception desk in this case. Therian. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna place it right here. Wonderful. By the entrance. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. Okay. 
This is so much like two point hospital, right? Q reception. Three color. Let's see. Two green. Purple. Dynamic. Oh. Even the feel and like some of the music is so much like two point. It's insane. The diagnosis See. room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Also, tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. Let's get room. the diagnosis room up and running. If you're ever unsure what to do, select any of your objectives and I'll help to point you in the right direction. Ah, uh -huh, that's so cool. Okay, rooms, diagnosis. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desired footprint, and click build to confirm. Mm, let's... Wonderful. Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door and then the room's required objects. In the case of diagnosis, we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will show you simple, easy methods to improve your room's value. Potted plants are all the rage at the moment. Not my cup of tea, personally. Now, a replica of an XTC 5000 block engine. Well, my older is really good, eh? Hey. satisfaction from the thought alone. And this is a screen. And then additional stuff. Decoration. This. Where's the room's like value? I did say something about the value. Uh, yeah, that's the diagnosis room, Betty. Now we'll leave That's fine for room. now. This is but so cool. We'll be in touch with the juicy details. Codex entry. Everyone has it, unless they have an exoskeleton or nothing at all. The skin lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the skin lab instead of a shower sometimes. Oh. Oops. 
Excellent. We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. However, I think there's still something missing. As we're a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. And there they are, Director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. We currently have old and human candidates, and are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. Mm. You can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like, even directly in a room, which will assign it as their primary task. Excellent work. Your new staff will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work, and more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis, so do be sure not to inflate your expenses. An excellent set of rooms and doctors, Director, that will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim. Oh, nice. Rewards available. This game is really cool. We are ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in one piece. Open the hospital. Begin. And away we Let's go. Do it. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. We didn't drink coverage. The... They shall scuttle the... their various... Detritus within its once sterile halls. Objects. Vending machine. Uh, thirst. Our employer is rather keen to introduce you to the old. The call icon should be at the bottom right, Director. And... Um... Oh. Old are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. <laughs> Once they retired from their empire, they developed an odd fascination with humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions and ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s earth culture, surf rock and traditional gender roles. Humans, we love them. They are us, sometimes. Not always, though. Humans are a lot of things. And one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our influence whenever they complete treatments. Very also, cool. Accidentally, a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms. So that's great. Uh, sorry. That's a conversation for another time, I guess. Yeah, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. A uh, director. Uh, that is a room. They were.
This room is not well. Chamber. Very, very cool. Let's see what rooms we can build. We can't build anything else yet. Uh, doctors, consultants. Objects. Seating. Inspect Zigvax Supermax. How do I inspect? a patient director although not the right one not to fear i won't recommend you for sensitivity training another patient uh, i'm sure they're a delightful person but yes this isn't quite who we're looking for behold the patient panel this is the one highlighted the condition okay. track this fellow hitting the fill for it now we boned and for that we'll read a boning chamber Oops. My bad. Burning chamber. Cool. How do we build? 
Uh, I have to speak with her first. Mining chamber, a retrofitted mining machine, which chomps fresh minty new skeletons directly into our patients. An assistant engineer fitted the schematic with internal cameras for personal reasons. That'll teach me to poach star from Salazan. Anyway, that's all fixed, and it's mostly safe. Mostly. Ah, the boning chamber. A fine room indeed. I do rather admire the machine in there. Rather charming, actually. I think I'll call him Harold. I haven't the foggiest idea why. Yeah, it's... Got the same humor as um, Two Point Hospital. Okay, optional. Add three unique decorations. So, one. Painting two plants. Upgrades. Oh. Maybe windows. running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and running, let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. A happy doctor will perform their job efficiently, whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. If their mood gets too low, I like this game. Simply leave. You can see the various It's pretty it's smooth, the mechanics are great. The interface just works. Cameras usable, the navigation are fulfilled by vending machines and movement toilets and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. Staff lounge. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit in everything. We considered a mindfulness cue, but people found the idea nightmarish. So they get this instead. I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. Great de-stressor. We'll need to build a staff lounge, lest our employees descend into absolute madness. We should also ensure we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves.
can work. This one's stock launch prop. Facilities have been installed, and the number of organics who've relieved uh, themselves in the hospital has slipped under the so good. legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. And rewards. Money, lower might, human influence, and craftium. It's time to meet a marginally useful maintenance crew. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to maintain our equipment and clean up various forms of vomit. The robot is waving. Medi, are you waving? Are you cool, waving guys. Your... Yeah, I wanted to just it appears that Medi give a first impressions uh, about this game, and I'm really liking it. It's so I'm pretty. Hello, director. It's me, Medi. Heel says I'm a toaster. And that I might actually it be useful if I was plays more smoothly than two point <laughs> hospital to be honest it's out so similar in many ways with even a, a little bit more what's going on I think I'll definitely be streaming this or recording some more sessions of this for sure boy and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace he's my hospital in space have any friends because you're not real of course I do because <laughs> you're my friend and so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station bugger me what in the world is going on oh wow oh he looks friendly in friendly right i think it's okay yes he... it's just a really big alien first of all many it's a he's even got his name on his refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens director and the absence of Cool. I'm gonna save up and we will jam tomorrow. Peace out. Remember to subscribe and like if you want more videos. Uh, I'll make loads more. They'll probably get better as well over time. Cheers.